Hey everyone and welcome back to Catamist. In this video we're going to tackle a seemingly complex part, the torsion axis connector. It's a great exercise in solid modeling so let's get right into it. So I'll start by defining one variable by the name of L give that a value of 11. Continue with my one and only sketch for this design. That'll be a circle with a dimension of L times 2. Continue with a construction line here. Dimension that one with L times six, one vertical construction line. Dimension that to that endpoint here with a forty four. Make an offset of that circle to the outside. Give that that L value. Continue with a three point arc here. A line connecting those endpoints. Make that vertical. Draw one construction line here with the tangent relationship. And another one over here. Mirror those two lines over here. And give that a height of L. OK. That's it for the sketch. I'll exit that, go to the extrude, take these two regions, make a symmetric L times 6 extrusion, make that sketch 1 visible again, and take the transform tool of this part rotating around that um, construction line by 90 degrees copying that part. Okay, then continue transforming by rotating that part around that vertical axis by 180 degrees. Now we can intersect those two bodies, hide all planes, apply a fillet to all edges by L divided by 3. And finally, apply some appearance to the part and another one to the fillet feature. And there it is, a simple yet effective part. Just so you know, I used the Onshape Render Studio to grab the high quality image for the thumbnail on this video. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, please give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe for more cat tips and tricks. Mm -hmm.